What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Justin Bieber dress like challenge and I did a video a couple weeks ago and I said how to dress like Justin Bieber in 2017 with his updated style. And so I said if you guys get 5,000 likes in that video, I would go ahead and do an actual dress like challenge where I pick out an outfit, I go and I try to pick the exact outfit for a cheaper price point. So basically, I break down an outfit and then I see what I can get for a certain price point. And then I go ahead and buy that outfit and show you guys where to buy it and put it together and put it on so you guys can see what the outfit looks like and compare it to the original. Most of these times with these outfits, they cost a good amount of money. A lot of the time they cost, you know, a couple thousand dollars. And so we're gonna find an outfit and break it down. Now with Justin Bieber's recent style, as I've been looking, he does wear a lot of shorts and whatnot. So we're gonna try to work around that. But other than that, if you guys are new here and you haven't seen all my other dress like challenges, I have Travis Scott, Lil Uzi Vert, ASAP Rocky. I have so many different outfit challenges. Subscribe if you haven't seen that and leave a like on this video if you want to see another dress like challenge to get to the next one. I think it's going to be Post Malone. Let's hit 5,000 likes this video. So 5,000 likes, Post Malone is coming up next. I've already got this stuff all filmed and picked out. So if you want me to drop that video, leave a like down below. Without further ado, what we typically do is we head to the computer right now. So I've got my computer right here. We're doing a little bit of a screen recording. We're gonna go ahead and break down some outfits, find some outfits online, and see what outfits we like in particular. And then when we pick the outfit, we'll go ahead and break it down. Now for this video, what we're gonna do is I typically will find the outfit just online and then get it shipped in and everything like that. But I wanna go ahead and get this outfit today because I wanna go ahead and knock this video out. And so how this is gonna work, I'm gonna find the outfit online, I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly where to get it online and see where we can get it at that price point as well as at your mall. So I'm gonna go to my mall, I'm gonna go to Lenox Mall, maybe North Point Mall, some malls in the Atlanta area and go ahead and try to find the outfit as well. So I'll have two different options for outfits with two different price points, one might be cheaper, one might be more expensive, but if some of you guys can't buy things online, you can only go to your mall, you can go ahead and do that, or you can go ahead and buy it online. So a couple different options there. So let's go ahead and head to the computer and pick out this fit. So all we're gonna do as usual, Justin Bieber fashion 2017. And for this one, I'm not gonna drag it out picking out the outfits. I just wanna go on look live. I typically go on there just because it's easiest for me to go ahead and find outfits that are more recent. Cause if you go on Google search, a lot of them are just random. They might be old pictures. So these are more recent. So like I was saying, there's a lot of stuff that has to do with shorts. And I don't really want to do shorts because it's becoming fall time. And I don't think a lot of people are wearing shorts right now. And you know, he lives in LA. And so it's a little bit warmer there where I live. It's a little bit chillier. And most of you guys where you live, it might be fall time, at least in the States. So we're going to go ahead and primarily look at different pictures that only have, you know, pants and whatnot, unless it's really nice. You have one right here. He's in sweats, a little bit of a cutoff flannel. Don't think that's a good one to go ahead and break down just because it's a little bit uh, random, I guess. And I would rather go for like some sort of pants or jeans or something like that because it's a little bit more form fitting. You can get particular styles around the sweatpants usually are baggy. That probably doesn't make sense, but whatever. So we have this one right here. I like that where he has some denim on. Not sure the exact denim might be a Miri or something has a off-white shirt, a bomber jacket. The bomber jacket might be a little bit tough to find at a local mall or something, but I do know only the blind has one similar to that. But we'll go ahead and look. Now, I did see this outfit when I was kind of researching before, so I kind of do like a little bit of a sweep before to make sure we're gonna be good. So I like this outfit right here. So we have the Gucci crew neck, which is gonna be perfect for the fall time. We have the Fear of God denim. Now, a lot of the stores are catching on to the trend of the Fear of God denim, and they're coming out with their own, and they have zippers and different things like that. So I'm sure we could find something at least with distressing, not sure about zippers. And I, I honestly might like to get a pair that have no zippers over ones with zippers. And then we have a pair of Navy Vans right there. And depending on how the crew neck is, because th those Vans match the crew neck, the way that I see this crew neck is maybe like a washed look and kind of like a overwashed look. I would like that. And we'll see if we can find something like that. And if we can, then that'll go good with the shoes but we might just go ahead and pick a different pair of slip-ons, maybe something more simple because or more versatile because of the fact that navy is pretty similar to the color of the crew neck and it matches. So we wanna make sure we can match what we find. So there is the outfit we're gonna pick right there, simple. I don't think it's gonna take too much money for us to do this because the van slip-ons are only 50 bucks. The pants we can get anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks and then a crew neck, not too bad. So what we're gonna do first is actually head to the mall and show you guys some vlog footage. I'm gonna go right now to Lenox Mall and see what we can find and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the online footage because I think the vlog footage is a little bit fun to switch it up for you guys. And then we're gonna cut back to here and I'm gonna be in this exact spot and we're gonna go ahead and break the outfit down online, talk about the different things that I got at the store, then put the outfit on. Gonna give you a fit breakdown while I'm in the elevator. I know it's kind of dark. Got the Kappa C2H4 hoodie right here. One of my favorites, black Zara denim and the off-white Nike blazers, my favorite shoes right now. And you know, I wore this outfit on Instagram, the picture got a crazy amount of likes. So go like that one if you can see it, it's up on the screen. 
one of my favorite fits right now. Also, while I'm walking to my car, I wanted to see if you guys are interested in anything to do with like cars because I used to be big into cars and I actually am, you know, trying to do a little bit more to my car. I've been kind of showing it to you guys a little bit, but if you guys are interested in cars and stuff, want to see a little bit more into that side of things, let me know. I'll show you the whip right now in the parking deck because you can see got a nice little modifications now. I want to do something else soon and maybe I'll put that in a video, but let me know down below. Got my nice little parking spot here. Let's get it. One thing I thought about on the way over here is I probably won't be able to find, you know, direct zipper denim here. I'm thinking Top Man's gonna have some distressed denim, but other than that, I don't know if we'll find some good zipper denim. Forever 21 might have some, but I don't think it will fit good at all because their denims never fit good. So we'll just have to see and play it by ear. Catch me wearing the same shoes every other day because these are my favorite right now. Also, I'm not the best at vlogging, so bear with me as I try to be a vlogger out here. So this mall is crowded. Literally, every time I'm here, it's a Wednesday. There's way too many people. I don't understand why some people are just hanging out here. Sweetie boys. So the only thing I saw in there was denim, and so now we're gonna go to some other stores. We might go back. Those are a little bit pricey though, for what I was thinking. And so we'll go ahead and go back after we hit Forever 21. Dressing on this is weak, but it does have zippers. All right guys, so in the middle of this little vlog, I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys about my Snups account because I haven't talked about it in a minute. That's where I post like behind the scenes for all my Instagram posts and whatnot, as well as I'm posting some stuff for sale soon. And it will be the first place to go ahead and get a chance to buy things where I usually post stuff from my closet on my website. It will be on my Snups from now on. So go ahead and check that out down below. Usually it will be up on the screen as well as down in the description. Okay, so we were able to find some stuff at the mall. I did have to go to a different mall, North Point Mall, in order to find this H&M shirt right here, or it's a crew neck, because of the fact that None of the stores at Lenox had exactly what I was looking for, and I thought this would be a good option. And so we were able to get it for 150 bucks. But before I show you that stuff, let's go ahead and find the outfit online so we can compare the price. Now, this particular instance, the denim was 85 bucks, the clinic was 15, and then the shoes are 50. And with this particular outfit, I think that a different pair of vans is gonna look good, vans that I already have. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly where they are. But I did record in the van store showing you guys that $50 price point, so you know it's gonna be there. But now let's go ahead and head to a few different stores. Now, the go-to denim that I would recommend when it comes to Fear of God zipper denim, if you want to get the closest look, the best fitting, the best quality for the right price, this is not an ad. I'm not being paid a single dollar to say this. This is truly, I've used this for the Travis Scott video, is minimal. Minimal definitely has, you know, there's a lot of denim companies that have, you know, zipper denim, but they just don't fit right. And so if you saw some clips at the mall, Forever 21 had a zipper denim. They actually did better with the taper, but the distressing was not good at all. I think that minimal, I wear minimal most of the time, regardless. And this, again, is not an ad. I'm not being paid to say this. But they do have a lot of denim that is a nice fitting. But this particular one right here, the S1, I think it's a little bit different of a tint, but has the best, you know, taper, the best quality zipper, and the best distressing for the look. And it's 60 bucks. So this is going to be what I'm just going to go to for the denim in this instance. So right there is $60, and we'll start that off as the price point. Now all we have to do is find a crew neck as well as the shoes. So underneath the crew neck, you can go for any shirt. Like you can get a unique little shirt for $5. I'll link some options down below if you want. H&M has white t-shirts. For this instance, we're not really caring too much about that just because of the fact that we have, you know, you can't see it underneath. So it doesn't really matter, I don't think. And so you can go ahead and just pick whatever color you want for that. We just don't know what's underneath. So for the crew neck, I'll show you guys on H&M.com what they have or we can go ahead and see if they have something else. Forever 21 might have something. Now, a lot of these stores did have stuff that was, you know, kind of like it had like fonts and stuff on it and looked kind of like, you know, they had embroidery or something like that. And I just didn't want to get something that was kind of copying the Gucci logo or anything. Just wanted something simple without any logos because most of the time that's what I'll wear. And so we'll look and see what they got. So like I was saying, H&M has, you know, this one right here. It's got some prints on it. I did see that one. Here is another one it has zippers on the side. I like it a little bit more simple and hopefully they have the one I bought online. So they have a few with just different logos on them. They're straight ripping the Pablo font. Pablo wasn't the originator of that, or Kanye wasn't the originator of that, but the Pablo font is very popular from that. So I can't find the exact crew neck, but I'll try to put the product code or something and show you guys exactly what it is, and I'll try to link that down below if I can. 
even let's go to Paxan and see if they have anything. So Paxan only has like a different color one. I'm also Googling like this one right here. I think I might've seen this in store. I'm not sure. They have like a green crew neck from Topman. I did buy some Topman. Not exactly the same, but you get the idea. You can just search crew neck. I think Topman has a few. I'll link those down below as well as H&M. You can even probably find a champion one on Amazon or something. Let me see, Champion. The reverse weave from Champion are like some of the best, I would say overall, just in terms of anything. So like right here, you could get this. They fit, per I love the way they fit. I go for a size extra for 50 bucks. So we'll say, we'll go for this one just because I like the way that that fits better. So we're gonna go for $60 with the pants. We have $50 on the crew neck. And then from Vans, you can pick based off of the color of the crew neck that you get. Now, if you wanna get exactly the ones that he got, you can go ahead and get those. They're 50 bucks. They're a navy blue and you can get that. I think for this particular outfit with this one, I'm going to go with the checkered vans because it is a black crew neck. And so I think it looks best. So they have the checkered ones there, 50 bucks. And then you can go ahead and see what other colors they have. I've seen Bieber in like leather slip-ons. I've seen him in just all colors, all white. Like it, he's just in so many different colors throughout the, the years. And so you can pick whatever one you want. Here's the exact one that I was talking about. Navy blue, very simple, nothing crazy going on here. 50 bucks, not a bad price. So now let's break down what I actually bought so you can see what I got. From the mall, I just went ahead and bought H&M crew neck and then I bought top man denim. So we'll talk about the denim first. I didn't think this was gonna be like a good fitting one. And so that's why I went there originally and I decided to go back and get them just because they didn't find any really other options. You know, the Forever 21 ones I didn't like. But Topman always has really good denim. I like the wash of this one. It's kind of like tinted yellow and it has a distressing at the knees. No zippers, but it looks like it has a decent taper and I think that will look good. It's also stretchy. I think that will look good with the Vans, the checkered Vans or any kind of Vans if you want to for that instance. This one is a size 30, 32. It's a stretch skinny. I'll see if they have these online. 85 bucks, so really expensive compared to the minimal ones. I can't really tell you in terms of what like quality, if you're looking for different aspects, because with zipper denim, you're looking for the aspects of, you know, the zippers being quality, the distressing being quality. So this one right here, this is pretty decent distressing. I think it's a quality denim, but for 85 bucks, I would definitely go with the minimum over this. Minimal denim, my bad. And then we have the crew neck. So very simple, like I said, 15 bucks. It's a black crew neck. I couldn't find an overwashed or acid washed, but I wanted to get one very simple. So you can see right there, just a crew neck, you throw any kind of t-shirt on underneath that. I think it'll be simple and clean. We'll go ahead and now put the outfit on and show you guys what it looks like. Nice, simple fall outfit. You know, I don't think this was too hard of a challenge, but I'm glad we found something in store as well as online to give you guys a little bit of variety. So I did go ahead and get the denim on and I have to kind of sit weird right now because what I worried about with this denim was that the knee blowouts are, at least for me, like three inches too high. My knees are way lower than that. And that's the problem I've seen with a lot of distressed denim is that some companies can't really get it right. But I also know that it is based off of a person to person basis, how long their legs are, something like that. So this particular denim, I didn't try on and you know, I probably should have, but if you guys, you know, maybe it'll fit you better, but I will link them down below. Still, Minimal does a good job with that and I think that they fit me good, but these particular ones, like I'll, you'll be able to see when they're on, how they are a little bit off and they're a little bit tight on the waist. So if you're gonna get these, go a size up, I would say, because my pants are like feeling like they're about to pop and hopefully they don't. But I do like how the outfit came out for what I'm wearing right now without shoes is 100 bucks with shoes, 150 bucks, not a bad deal at all. And you can find the one online that was like 160, 180 dollars. I can't. I'm bad at math. I'm sorry. But that's the outfit right there. If you guys like this, let me know down below. Again, 5,000 likes for Post Malone. That is gonna be it for the video, though. Nice and simple. A little bit of vlog. A little bit of sitting down. I hope you guys like that. If you did, leave a like down below. I've said leave a like so many times. But I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out. I just wanna go far to the sky, but I don't even know where we are. I don't know where I'm going. I just know where I'm headed. Feel this.